In this video I'm going to show you how to quickly tune the PID settings on both the hot end and heated bed of your 3D printer using a Creality Sonic Pad. This is the first of my intermediate Sonic Pad series where I show you how to tune your Sonic Pad and 3D printer combination for the best quality and speed. I'll therefore assume that you already have the basics covered. If you don't already have your Sonic Pad and 3D printer talking to each other and you haven't completed your first print, then go back and watch my Sonic Pad Basics series where I show you how to do everything to get to this stage. The PID tune controls how temperatures in your 3D printer are achieved and maintained. If your PID settings are wrong, then temperatures will fluctuate, which will cause print defects and, in the worst case, print failures. Luckily, PID tuning with the Sonic Pad is very quick and easy. First, from the Configure page, select Other Settings. Then scroll down and select Advanced Options. Here you'll see the Hot End PID Calibration and the Hotbed PID Calibration. I'm going to start with the Hot End. When you select it, you'll be told to expect the process to take around 5 minutes and to not turn the Sonic Pad or the 3D printer off during the test. After clicking OK, you'll have the opportunity to select the temperature you'd like to tune for. Select a temperature that is an average of what you usually use. I regularly print PLA at 200 degrees on this printer, so that's what I'll choose. However, if I also wanted to regularly print PETG at, say, 240 degrees, then I'd choose 220 degrees as it's a good average of the two. Once you've chosen your temperature, select Start Test and the process will begin. What your Sonic Pad will do now is heat your hot end up to the temperature that you've selected and then let it cool a little. It will then modify the PID settings and repeat the heating and cooling phase. It will do this a number of times until it's happy that it's found good settings. When it's complete, it will tell you that it's done. Although strangely, mine told me that the hotbed PID tune was done when we were actually tuning the hot end. When you click on the back arrow, you'll be told that your new settings will be saved and your Sonic Pad will need to restart. Click on Confirm and then wait for your Sonic Pad to boot up again. Now follow the exact same process to do a hotbed PID tune. Again, choose a temperature that you most often print with. This time the PID tune will take quite a bit longer because it takes more time to heat and cool your bed. Again, once it's finished, the system will reboot. When your Sonic Pad returns, your PID tune is done. The next thing we're going to do is calibrate your E-Steps, or as it's called in Clipper, rotational distance. Click here to go straight to that video. I'll see you there. 